Okay, so I want to walk through this chapter one so you kind of get a sense of how to do these assignments, okay? So let's start off here. What do top students do differently? So this is a TED Talk. You may or may not be familiar with TED Talks. They're just kind of high-end, um, usually very interesting talks put on by generally smart people. And this talk is about what, what separates students who perform well from students who don't. And it's not necessarily what you would think. Right? It's not just, well, some people are smarter than others. This, so this individual in this video is talking about his research where they looked into this and found that um, it's, you know, IQ is not really the thing that separates students that do well from those that don't. So it's a good way to start off a class, uh, become a little bit of a better student to actually take the time to learn what makes a student better? Where should you spend your time, right? A lot of students are very motivated at the beginning of the course and think, I'm just gonna work really hard, but there's something to be said for working smarter rather than working harder. Of course, you have to work hard, that's part of it, but if you're working hard by doing things that don't really work, then that's not gonna work out for you very well. So um, that's your first, uh, or not your first assignment, that's your uh, second ass Canvas assignment here. Notice how I give a word recommendation here, I say 500 words. Now that's not like set in stone. If you come in at 490 words and it's well done, I'm not gonna mark you down. But that, that word count is really to give you an understanding of the, the level of depth that I'm expecting from you. Okay, if I say I'm expecting around 500 words and you give me 150 or 250 or even 350, then you definitely have not answered the question to the depth that I'm expecting and it will affect your grade. Okay, so you want to keep that in mind uh, when you're working through these. So uh, your total, you should have about 500 words. And then oftentimes, what ha so that's one place where students can miss is they, you know, they talk about the material, but they don't go in depth enough because they only write 400 words instead of getting closer to 500. So they, you know, lose some points for not really um, answering the question at the level that was expected. That's one place to lose points. Another is see this number five down here, respond in a meaningful way to at least two other students. So. You're gonna to go to where other students have left the post and you're gonna read their post and you're gonna to respond to it. And you need to respond to it in a meaningful way. So what does that mean? That means if we take your comment away, uh, if we deleted your comment, would it really change anything? So if you just come in and say, hey, great job, I really like what you wrote, that doesn't really move the conversation forward. That doesn't really add anything, right? Uh, so that won't get points. What you have to do is, what in a meaningful response, what you want to do is, first of all, your response should make it clear that you read what the person wrote, right? You should be addressing what that person talked about in their post. So if you just say, good job, well, I can say good job to anyone's comment without even ever actually reading it, right? Or, or just saying, I really like how you explained that. I could put that in anybody's post. Right, it doesn't doesn't even mean that I read the thing. So your response should show that you read it, and then also give some kind of meaningful feedback. Otherwise, we're not really having a discussion here, right? We're just sort of typing things into the into Canvas that no one's ever going to read. So we need to actually have a discussion taking place. So that's two very common places where students miss points on the Canvas assignments. Is one they don't pay attention to how long. Uh, their work should be and then two sometimes they don't do the student responses and in both of those cases You're gonna end up losing some points So just pay attention to all that and just you know try to do try to take it seriously try to be give a genuine response give a genuine post uh, And make it long enough and you'll be fine Okay, then our next assignment who needs calculus anyway So this is one of those assignments where I am actually instructing you to use chat GPT Remember you can only use chat GPT when you're told to uh, Otherwise, it's considered cheating But in this case, I'm specifically telling you to use chat GPT You can use a competitor some people like to you know, there's a few of these versions out there um, You can use another one if you like but chat GPT is kind of the famous one that everyone knows about so basically what you're going to do is you're going to go into ChatGPT and you're going to tell your prompt for ChatGPT is going to be something along the lines of um, how does a and then you're going to insert your major uh, use calculus in their career. So my example here is please explain how an economist might use calculus in their career. 
Okay, so what's going to happen then is that ChatGPT is going to give you a response, and it's going to be a good one, and then you're going to respond to ChatGPT's response. You're going to read what ChatGPT had to say, and in at least 200 words, you're going to give a response. What parts do you agree with? What parts were surprising to you? Just talk about it, right? What The, the whole point of this is to help you understand why you're even in this class. Why are you here, right? Um, so this is going to help you figure that out. Um, and then you're going to respond to um, another student, right? So that's going to be pretty typical in our discussions. You're usually going to have to respond to another student. Okay, the next type of assignment we have here is the video lesson. So what you're going to do is you're going to go watch those videos that are in the My Open Math, and you're going to take notes. So this one is for 1.1 to 1.2. So then what you'll do, what you'll do is go into the 1.1, and so we've got these videos. So you watch the first one, take notes on it. Watch the second one, take notes on it. Watch the third one, take notes on it. And these aren't like hour long videos. This one's eight minutes right here, right? So it's not like a ton of it, you know, you're not gonna spend hours and hours watching these videos. Um, uh, and you can just go through, watch all five of them and take notes on all five of them. Okay, now I, I do give some leeway because I realize that everyone takes notes differently, but you should have notes that Basically, it should show that you watch the videos, okay? If I notice that you have material missing, you're gonna get marked down for that. So take enough notes that it's clear that you've watched the videos and that you understand what's going on, and then you can use those notes when you're, um, when you're doing the assignments, right? And so you'll do 1.1. You'll also come in and do this for 1.2. You'll watch these videos here as well you know, open it up and then take your notes. And then hopefully at that point, you'll all be ready to do the actual assignment 1.1 and 1.2, right? So uh, then you'll, what you'll do is you'll go back over here in here and you will submit your file of those notes. Now this is important. I only grade one file. So if you've got nine pages of notes, you have to submit that as one file. And that might sound tricky for some of you. It's actually quite easy. There are many apps that do this. One I have linked right here, it's called Genius Scan. It's free, it doesn't cost you any money. Basically what you're gonna do is you take pictures of your nine pages of notes. Genius Scan puts it all together into one PDF and then you will submit that PDF to this assignment right here, making sure that you do it by the due date right? June 23rd at 11.59. Make sure you have it in well before that so you don't have any technical issues. You get the thing uh, submitted and then I'll come in and grade it. I'll look it over and say, does, is, does this person actually look like they watched and follow along with the videos? And if so, then great. You get your points. We move on. So that's how that will work. And then you've got a couple of those in each chapter. Two to three times you have to take notes in each chapter. Okay. And then... Uh, then you've got a quiz at the end of the chapter. So once you're done with the chapter and you feel pretty confident with the material, you're gonna come in and take this quiz. So the first quiz has four questions to it. So there are actual math problems. They're basically, I mean, I basically went into the homework and looked over the homework problems and took similar problems and made a quiz out of it. So if you understand the homework, you understand the material, you should be good to go, okay? And then with that, you've completed the first module. So that is basically how most of these modules will go. They'll, they'll vary a little bit from module to module, but more or less, that's what you're gonna have. You're gonna have some times where you take notes. You're sometimes gonna have a quiz. You're sometimes gonna have a discussion that you need to work on. Uh, just work through all that stuff. And then once you're through one chapter, you move on to the next one. Paying attention to these due dates. You should be staying ahead of the due dates. So this makes it clear by June 20th, and kind of the 23rd, um, you should be, you know, finishing up this module by around June 20th. And you'll notice that those classly, closely match the due dates that are inside of the My Open Math. So you want to make sure you're working on all of that to stay current so that you're getting the assignments done on, on time and not falling behind. Falling behind is bad. Okay, it's very hard to catch up in these classes. So just pay attention to those dates. Make sure that you're roughly where you need to be. Uh, you know, I recommend that you don't, don't wait till something's about to be due to work on it. It's gonna take way too long. What you wanna do, uh, for each of these, I usually give about a week. So you should be working on this stuff throughout the week, 
not waiting until the last day or two to work on it, you're going to find that's very difficult and you actually won't learn it as well. So, uh, so, so keep an eye on that. And, uh, yep, that's how the first module works out. All right. Thank you.